I'm going to show you uh, how to set up online radio station. Um, basically, what I have found out, what you need to set it up to run on your local network. Okay, first of all, you need uh, a f um, radio station, sort of like a server that runs on your computer, and then you need a source client that actually plays music and automates all your uh, radio. Okay, so first of all, I went to uh, icecast.org, which is a server for the online radios. I downloaded the latest version for icecast, or uh, icecast version for Windows. Uh, yeah, so downloaded that, extracted it, and then I went to the folder where we have the icecast. I'm just gonna edit it. You need to change some of these values, the location of the server, the admin, uh, basically how you connect, how can you uh, contact the administrator of the server, the host name, and you need to change the passwords for the users that will be used to access this radio station. Okay, when this is done, you go to the icecast folder and you run icecast.bat. When this runs, if you don't get any errors, means it's everything is running fine. You can also go to logs and access log, and you should see the button that is working fine. All right, so this is done. Now we need a source client. I'm gonna use Radio DJ. Uh, he already downloaded it from Radio DJ current version was 1.8.2, downloaded it, extracted it, uh, also installed MySQL which is needed for the radio DJ. So, uh, since that's done, uh, you can go to radio DJ, you can run it, okay, so running, and you have your radio DJ t um, window here. If you want to connect to your radio server you need to install AltaCast which is a plugin for the radio DJ I downloaded it from altacast.com the latest version was 2.5.3 I've downloaded it and zipped it and I had to put that um, AltaCast here you go uh, bassonc.dll I copied that f file into the root folder of Radio DJ and the folder, uh, any, the whole content of uh, plugin folder I copied into the plugin folder on Radio DJ. When you've done all that, the AltaCast tab at the top will appear and you can press uh, that green cross at the bottom and create a connection to your server so this window would come up and you would put your encoder title and the bitrate encoder I'm going to use AAC plus server type icecast since we're using icecast the server IP is our local IP the port number is 8000 which is the default username is source and a password is source as well you get username and password from your uh, icecast.xml file and yeah, mount point is listen, which means basically like a like a broadcast what a broadcast listening point. When you enter that, you can save, and when you click on green triangle here, it connects to the server. So when you've done that, you can let's say play some. Uh, nah. Uh, yeah, you can go to your browser, which is 1.27001. Get to this browser window here, you download the mp3 listen file, open the file, right click on the file that you just downloaded from the site, the local site, and you can let's see, open with Winamp. 
and yeah you can see that we are connected to our server and it works you can also make sure that it works if you go to administration you can see that we have uh, one client connected to our server I think it on read the DJ shows as well Altacast here as well it says we have one listener not playing any music since yeah, don't have any. Okay, so this is how you set up um, Radio DJ and Icecast for your online radio. Bitch.